unbelievable performance from Lakey Peterson. So Steph Gilmore could have an op opportunity right here to, to put a little bit of pressure uh, on Tyler Wright. But um, in saying that, she's got a tough hit ahead. Carissa Moore, who's been on absolute fire, dropping nine point rides in round one. And Keely Andrew, who's surfing uh, absolutely fantastic as well. Stephanie Gilmore, this happened while we were away. Yeah, uh, well, Steph Gilmore off to a flying start. Just trying to get that ball rolling. Obviously, there's uh, been some heats where it's been pretty quiet. Steph Gilmore, I love that flow, beautiful style. One of the most stylish uh, competitors on tour. And uh, wave number two for Steph Gilmore. So she has made it quite clear she's going to stay busy. She's not going to leave anything to chance. She's not going to be wanting a wave at the end of this heat and just tagging this one all the way through. So Steph Gilmore showing that busy approach and uh, making sure she gets her two-wave total real fast and applies a bit of pressure. Keely Andrew, on the other hand, answers back to Steph Gilmore, just a little bit of a whitewater wave there, which traditionally harder to surf out here at Cloud Break, harder to set that rail carpo, harder to get those fins in the face of the wave and produce those big turns. So all three ladies are off to a flying start in this heat. Carissa Moore, who we talked about, looking fantastic in round number one, dropping that nine-point ride is just back to where she started. Probably the maneuver of the heat so far right there and multiple turns on the backhand. Carissa Moore picking up where she left off and is about to drop an absolute bomb. Steph Gilmore will maintain the lead due to that two-wave total. Seven and a half minutes elapsed and already Carissa Moore with two excellent scores. Let's look at the 943 from the water angle. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, this, uh, this next turn here as she comes up, didn't quite connect there, but watch this turn. Absolutely blew the tail out of the back of that wave. They're throwing spray into the sky. The thing I like about that turn is when she snapped that board, you could literally see the whole bottom deck of the board. You could see all three fins sticking out of the wave. That shows commitment. It shows degree of difficulty. It's showing the judges what they want to see. And that is radical surfing. This maneuver right here, bang, you could almost see the bottom of the board from the drone. That's how upside down that turn was. Marissa Moore, well-deserved 9.43 and has Steph Gilmore and Keely Andrew, as you said, Kuiper, in a very short space of time in a severe combo situation, meaning? Combination, they need two scores, not just one, to take over the lead from Carissa Moore. They need two waves to add up to a 17.77 or better. You know, they have believed in me, and so I think I'm, I'm really starting to believe in myself. So it feels good to get these results, and um, let's do better than Brazil. Yeah, there you go. You're on fire. Sage Erickson, she's going to be on the post show with you guys as well. So keep an eye out for there. You'll find more insights from Sage. But congratulations. Great surfing and, and looking forward to more of it. Yeah, thanks so much. I think, uh, you know, it, it's bigger than it was supposed to be tonight. So I think in the morning could be spot on and clean. And uh, I expect another huge day. So it's exciting. Well, let's enjoy some of the surfing here by Stephanie Gilmore. Snaps off the top there aggressively, has to throw the board away as the bottom drops out. So it goes incomplete, pushing really hard on that board. Uh, requirement into that single digit requirement, and that is a step in the right direction. Up and riding for some more, our heat leader. Enjoying her surf out here, kicks out. Nice little opening turn, just staying busy. 13 minutes 35 on the countdown, and we're nearing the low tide mark here at cloud break. Keely Andrew, nice snap. White watery face, and she's forced to kick out as the wave hits that shallow reef section. It's momentum. There we go. Chris Moore just eyeing up this wave down the line. Snaps off the top there, throwing a ton of spray. Looking for the barrel, and it's going to stall, finds a nice little bubble, and comes out. No problem. So everything going Moore's way right now. Oh, she's just having a bit of fun. Here we go, Keely up and riding. Keely Andrew wants to surf her way out of this combination situation with a nice snap. Comes around. Another hook for Andrew. Finishes off with two nice combination of turns. We'll see. Nice solid set wave. Beautiful style on Keely Andrew. She's well known for her front side attack, but I'm really enjoying watching her surf on her backhand. Another nice turn there. I like the way she didn't force the issue. Very dangerous now through the inside section. So Keely doesn't improve her situation. Carissa Moore, though, you talk about how everything just keeps going her way. Having a bit of fun here this afternoon. She knows she's got all the hard work done, and now it's just a matter of having fun, fine-tuning her skills, 
perfecting that tube riding stance, and she did exactly that. Comes out with a bit of style, a bit of pizzazz, and uh, Carissa Moore. It's not going to better her situation. She's looking to improve on an 8.33, but having some fun here this afternoon. Beautiful angle. Look at that, tight inside the barrel. Great positioning, great form there from Carissa Moore. She's been doing a lot of hard work on her backside attack, Kaipo. Yeah. Actually, correction, as we look oh, into sorry, the seating, it's going to be... Bethany Hamilton, yes. yes. Well, and my, that's going to be bad, a my great, bad. great matchup. My bad. Hey. Which is, uh, yeah, a, a heat that Bethany, Bethany, Bethany Hamilton took down Tyler Wright last year, so it's going to be in the back of her mind. Can't wait to see it.